Hi hi, hello and welcome back to some more DML. So today we are hatching a brand new legendary dragon for us. So this is the pixie dot dragon with its adorable little egg. Oh, it just looks like a big butterfly. But the thing I like about this legendary the most is the pastel-y colours, you know, the light pinks, the light greens, just very cute overall. So the colourful pixie dot thrives on laughter and merriment. Its antennae release tiny spores that strangely enough make vikings and trainers alike want to cut loose and party. Sounds pretty sweet. I mean, the pixie dot is a legendary plant and light dragon, base attack 76. So honestly, it is a decent legendary, probably not one of the best in the game, but it is still a legendary that you might want to consider using on a final team because I mean light and plant it does have its uses so um, I mean a lot of people like light although fire is sort of a better version of light in a way but plant obviously high attack plant dragons are still pretty good but just look at him there jumping up for the food little bleh. that doesn't really sound right little bleh. <laughs> I'd expect to I don't know, a more docile, more cute sounding name, but okay, it can sound like it's vomiting, whatever, who cares. But the adult form here, I really do prefer the adult design to the baby design. I don't know, the, the baby design kind of gives me the creeps, to be honest with you. And just above its antenna, it's got like weird lines. I, I don't know if that, that's intentional or not. Probably not. But... Either way, new legendary, which obviously I'm going to be very happy about. Not that I'm probably going to use it on any of these teams. Although we could use it on our Android account, technically speaking. It just... Does it fit with the theme that we're going with? Because I did want to use the reindeer and kind of have a more defensive team. So I don't know, does, does our pixie dot fit in that? I'm not sure. But... Oh god, look at that neck! That neck though. Holy. Okay, I, I, that may be a graphical bug of some kind. Let's ignore the like mangled giraffe neck on the pixie dot right there, shall we? Yeah, just pretend that that didn't happen. At least we get to use our changeling dragon as well. Because, you know, when are we ever going to get the chance to use any of these dragons? The comet dragon sucks. I'm sorry, it does. Pixie Dot's alright, the Changeling sucks. <laughs> I feel like I say that for every dragon these days. It's just, why does this game have to have legendaries and divines be literally the only good things in the game? Why? I want to use my four fire dragons at level 80. Why are you going to do this to me again? Why, why are you going to say that my fire dragon is, is garbage and give it terrible stats? If only we could all have our own team and not suffer later on down the track. Oh god, low battery, rest in peace. Better hurry. Hurry quick. And plus we do have our Tai Zamron on this account that is in the hatchery as well. Just in case you're intrigued. But you know what, I think we might level up the Pixie Dot just in case we want to use it. Because if we get it to level 20, we can unlock its light element. And then at that point we can decide whether we want to do anything else with it. We don't have to, it's just the opportunity is there. So there we go, now we have to wait another whole day for the element to unlock. But 750,000 gold, eh, that's like nothing. At least we're not spending gems. And we will put little Ebon, Ebon the reindeer, into the academy and upgrade his wind a little bit. Because the sooner we get his wind upgraded, the better off he's going to be defensively. So uh, that is what's been going on in our Android account recently. What is this? Thank you for 460,000 likes on Facebook. You've reached the first milestone. Well, there's some more VIP and some more Dragon Fury Essence for us then, I suppose. Well, I am not complaining. I mean, we were starting to run out of VIP tickets because I spent them all. I don't even know on what, basically. Just when I wanted to do stuff, I guess. Oh well, you know, on this account we still haven't bred the pixie dot yet, so we're gonna try it again on Windows. Rust plus fire. That is correct, isn't it? That is correct, right? I'm not thinking of the... 
For a second, I was like, wait, is that even the correct combo? I, I'm not jipping myself, am I? Okay, just making sure. You know, you gotta, gotta do a quick search for Rooney. Make sure I wasn't making a complete toss bot of myself. So, let's go! Another four hour breed. You gotta be kidding me, game. Give me some leeway. I mean, we've still got another week left. Just, just over until the, the pixie dot goes away. So, I want to get it on both accounts, obviously, if we can. If not, well, I guess that's just going to be too bad, isn't it? But we do have the weak clan event on now, so no tricks to dragon reward, no special rewards or anything like that. But, obviously, might as well join in anyway, so that we can get some clan dragon packs, so that we can get some, what is it, boon or cutter? Legendary dragon pieces as well because we still need to unlock those guys They're one of the few that we don't have yet. I want someone wants some books. There you go Noah. Take my books Have all of the books that you want. I Kind of feel like a, a library It's like take my goods do whatever you want to do with them do it uh, Nice and easy clan quest. We've almost hit our limit for how many points we can get today already which kind of sucks because we've like barely done anything. If only the limit for clan coins in a day was something like, I don't know, 5,000? Uh, I'm not going to say that that would be, you know, super OP and let us get a ton of stuff really easily. But, you know, with the amount of stuff that's limited anyway, why are you going to limit clan points of all the things? Why are you going to limit those from us as well? Like, come on, the clan dragons, most of them aren't even that good. Is there even a single good clan dragon? Uh, I suppose the blaze bird is pretty good if you're, like, early on. The verdant's kind of eh. I guess he's fine. He can be okay, depends on the team. But apart from that, the rest are just kind of like eh, overall. I don't know, do, do, does there really need to be, like, a limit on the amount of points we can get? I don't know. Maybe following that logic, they'd be like, yeah, but then all the big clans would get a bajillion points. Yeah, I don't care. I just want points. So that's so much to ask for. Maybe I'm being, being a little bit rude there. Asking too much. Asking far too much. But, oh god, who is that? Why is my phone making noise? Oh, it's our Android account again. Okay. I was going to say, wh why why the loud buzzing on the table? What has caused it? No, it's just my other DML, of course. It's not someone trying to message me, it's just garbage. But anyway, let's reset the ones we don't want to do. I don't really care to do any more of the clan quests for now. We'll collect all of the food that we've got, because I have been putting in six hour food. It's because why not? I don't have VIP at the moment, so we've got no gold vault. <sighs> Just sitting here clicking all of our habitats because we're broke. Look at us. It takes so long. I can't even be bothered to do it. Whatever. Squarey berries get popped in there. And we do the long grind through all of these habitats. It almost feels like aim training. Like, have you ever played aim training maps in, like, Counter-Strike or something where it's like you're trying to hit all the habitats without missing any? To, like, improve your accuracy. <laughs> uh, oh, God, how depressing. How have we gotten to this stage? It, the problem is, in this game, if you accidentally, like, double-click the habitat, or sometimes you don't even double-click the habitat, but it says that you have. So, I guess it's not the best aim trainer of all time. But it, it, I guess it does its job, in a sense. Anyway, how many legendaries have you got? I think we have like 35 now. Maybe a few more. Close to 40, I think. Between both accounts. So we've got quite a few legendaries going on our accounts now. The only thing is, again, if we don't breed the pixie dot on, uh, on our main account, it's not going to go towards our grand total. So what are we going to do at that point? I don't know. And actually, I think Saini is like stronger than our Hermes dragon is now. Except when he has his plant ability up. Because when he uses plant, obviously he gets two ticks of damage, whereas 
our lantern dragon doesn't have that upgrade for his fire. That's like the only difference there. Handy is still by far like the strongest out of these three though. Like by far. Although maybe I'm just a little bit biased because the other two aren't upgraded properly yet. Who knows? And oh god. Oh, I was just scratching the inside of my ear. Does anyone else get that? Like where you wear earphones and then your ears get so itchy on the inside. Oh, it feels so good to scratch it. Although it's kind of disgusting scratching on the inside of ears sometimes. So I tend not to do it that often, but oh god, when it feels good, it feels good. This has gone in a weird direction all of a sudden. Wow, that infection actually did not kill that nightshade. Two procs of infection, it doesn't even kill it. Well, now we know. Now we know. We don't have enough to feed Saini up quite yet. Only two more feeds and he'll be 78. But it is 1.9 million food per quarter of a level up now. So we're getting back to that stage where it's like, I have so much food and yet I can't even feed anything because we basically have nothing. But anyway, you know, I think we've done done our dues for now. There's not a lot of news going on in DML, although a lot of people have been asking about the new dragons that got added in the previous update, like with the Whale Mart and everything. And our oh, little axolotl dragon with his VIP event is here. We don't have VIP active though, but just like all gem spending events, you know, first prize is little axolotl here. It's very weird that one of his types is shadow. Am I the only one that's weirded out by that? That he's a shadow dragon? But either way, 1700 gems spent to get the peacock dragon. And then on the leaderboards... I can't even check the leaderboards, can I? Because I don't have VIP active. God damn! I did see a couple of people with like... 5000 gems spent on their leaderboards though. So that's a lot of money. No. Like I said, we're not going to get him. For now, we will cry ourselves to sleep and accept that we will never get him. But thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, I'll see you then.